Hey guys, this is Safi Hacking for Interdobs and HackingSAP.com. Well, in this video, we're gonna have a look at some new capabilities of SAP Analytics Cloud regarding self-service. So there are actually two areas that they get an update um, for this. So we have the Explorer on the one hand, and on the other hand, we have the Data Analyzer, which has a nice update. So this is a preview of release 2021.1 and let's first have a look at what happened to the explorer because that that's gonna look a bit different than we are used to so you might already have seen this new icon here on top in the menu bar so the idea is that the explorer is more easily accessible by the users so before you had to enable the explorer here in the um, in the designer like this and then via the context menu you could open the explorer or use the link here in the um, in the chart or in the table so what now happens is that the whole explorer is moving yeah uh, more upwards into the the top menu here so let, let's let's have a look how that that works and uh, what we can do we can click here on this icon and then it will say well at this moment, you don't have any Explorer enabled on any of the widgets in your story. So we can enable them for all the charts and tables that we have. And this setting will also override yeah, whatever we did here in the, um, in the builder menu for, uh, for each widget individually. Let's click continue. And as you can see, the screen looks a bit different than it used to look like for the uh, for the Explorer. So uh, the buttons look a bit different. Uh, this is all the same. And on the left, we also have some differences here. So we have this display option, which brings us back to the story mode. Um, and let me save this for a second and go into view. By the way, you also see that the menu bar of the story mode has changed. So it's more uh, condensed right now. Uh, we can also use this drop down menu now to uh, move between the pages like this. So that saves a lot of space. Uh, but let's go back to our explore mode. Click on this one here. So what we can do, we can now toggle between different explore modes that we have on this first page. Right, you, you remember we have two visuals on the first page and I can now switch between them. I can also switch to the second page and I don't have to go back to the story uh, to do this. So before you could only look at one um, explore based on the visualization that you were working on. Something else, what is very nice in here is that they included the bookmark option here. So before you had to leave the explore mode and create a bookmark for your story to save whatever you did here in Explorer uh, while saving uh, additional explore views. So let's do that for example, let's bring in a different dimension and make this into, I don't know, uh, new work point so if I now save this as a new explore view then I get my new explore view let's call it uh, KPIs there we go and now I can save this in my bookmark something like this without having to leave the uh, the explorer so that that's a nice very nice uh, addition because that whole workflow that was broken from the start so that that's uh, a nice way to to fix this well in the explorer itself not much has changed regarding filtering and adding dimensions and moving um stuff around in the visualizations, so let's go back to the 
chart and we can click here on designer so they moved it up here uh, and from here we can drag and drop again and build up your visualizations like we did that before um, well if we go back to um, story mode and now go into edit there's another nice option we can also choose here within the story details to always start in the explore mode so let's see what happens when we do this so I'm saving this I'm also saving the story so let's refresh and see what happens So now the story loads, but you see it's going immediately into the explorer mode and not into the, uh, to the story mode. But from here, we can of course go back to story mode. So that, that's really a good change improvement on, on the explorer in my opinion. While the other improvement in the self-service area is regarding the data analyzer. So in case you haven't seen the data analyzer, it's a built-in web analyzer, which you can use to, to run all the backs queries from your BW system. And I believe also um, as for HANA views. And the only thing that you have to do to make use of this is um, go to the URL of the data analyzer. Um, well, to, to make that easy for the users, I just put in um, this, uh, this card in the, um, in the SEC catalog. So this is a content link. Over the content link, you can create a link to a certain URL. And that you can publish to the, um, to the catalog. And the URL of the data analyzer is basically your tenant name uh, with on the end data lies after the view underscore ID parameter. So what, what happens when you when you do this? You go into uh, the data analyzer, you get this pop-up screen where you can select your connections. So I'm gonna use this one here. And here I can search for my data sources. Well, this query has a prompt, but we're not going to use it right now. And this gives me the, uh, the data analyzer. So this is the default uh, setup of the query that we now see. And here on the right side with this designer menu, we can determine what we would like to see in the output. So let's also add some more dimensions in here. Well, let's turn those around like this and I can also use the right click here to uh, do the sortings, uh, change display options, uh, stuff like that. So this we already had a while. Um, the problem with this data analyzer was that you could never store whatever you did here. So when you leave this, um, everything is gone and you have to do all the setups and then filters again the next time that you use this uh, data analyzer on this query. Uh, what has now been added in release one for 2021 is this save option. Strangely, they don't call it a bookmark, but they now call it an insight. And you can store this insight on the SEC platform. So the insight itself is an object that you can manage in the repository. Let's save it. And now if you go back to the files and then go into this insights folder I created and click on the insight, it opens the data analyzer and we can continue from here. Yeah, and the insight object itself, we can also share with other users. So yeah, I think two nice self-service features 
uh, let's say improvements uh, to kick the, the new year off. So happy new year.